Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for another uh, episode review for the show House of the Dragon. Sorry if I paused for a moment. I thought someone was calling me, my mom or whatever. So please forgive me on that. But yeah, uh, I'm returning to you for House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 7 review. And this is for Driftmark, I believe is what the episode name is called. So, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this almost an hour long episode and let you know my thoughts on this House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 7 that I just got done watching. So, let's dive into this uh, episode review. Now, it stars Emma DRC playing as, uh, it's the new cast that's playing as the a little bit older cells from... Rhaenyra, Alicent, and uh, Sir Kristen, and all of them. Sir Kristen's played by the same person, but basically, what I got from this episode, it was good. It's just some weird stuff happening in this episode. With what I watched, um, basically, Lena passed away, the mother of uh, Damon's children and all that, so she told the dragon to kill her and all that because she couldn't get the baby out, it was pretty messed up, and yeah, it happened, if you watched episode 6, of course, but yeah, this episode basically was like the funeral of Lena and all that, they were having a gathering and a funeral happening then always a lot of shit going down even when you think it's supposed to be a family getting together and supporting one another it doesn't happen in this case so basically Aemon gets one of the dragons from Valarian uh I don't remember the dragon's name, but you'll have to remind me in the comment section below. It starts with a V, but Vagar, I think his name is, and uh, right when, after he rides the dragon, he then uh, starts beating up on girls and beating up on Damon's kids and also Rhaenyra's children and all that, and it's pretty fucked up. And then he loses an eye. So, that's where a lot of conflict comes in towards the end of the episode. And to me personally, I didn't, I didn't like this episode, but I personally had some issues with the episode. Um, with how the ending of the episode turned out, I'm like, wow. It's kind of a pretty much a send-off to Sir Lainor and all that, and I actually liked his character. He was a pretty good character, but Rhaenyra fucked him over big time. Um, you'll see at the end of the episode what happens. And, yeah, uh, Aemon lost an eye, and but he said he gained a dragon. Of course, Alicent was seeking revenge against Rhaenyra's Rhaenyra and her children and all that, seeking justice or something like that for the loss of his eye. So, basically, there was a lot of drama and conflict happening in this episode between House Targaryen and House Velaryon as well. So, lots of shit happens in this episode, but, yeah. The overall execution of the episode did perform averagely. It's not the worst episode I've seen, but it's something at least. So, overall, I think the ending to the episode was just, eh. It, it was like, oh, wow, you just had to fuck over Lainor kind of shit. So, yeah, it was pretty shitty, but, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, but basically, overall, I think episode 7 of House of the Dragon for season 1 
was average. It's a little weaker, but it has its good moments and it has some average moments. Closer to the end of the episode, you get some average moments. And Rhaenyra is still trying to... She does marry Matt Smith's character, Damon, at the end of the episode. And I'm just like, uh, incest. <laughs> because that's her fucking uncle. So I'm like, what the fuck? That's what you're going to get when you watch this episode. It's like about 59 minutes of this episode, but for the runtime. But I just found the ending to be sort of average uh, with the execution and delivery of the episode. So first score for me, I think I'm going to give uh, episode 7 of House of the Dragon for season 1. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It was average. It has its good moments and its weak moments. The beginning was good, closer to the middle of it, and with the drama and conflict happening. And then it just gets to the point where deception comes in to play, and it just... That's where you know, okay, they're kind of trying a bit too hard to make it a good episode, and the incestual marriage crap happens. Meaning incest marriage. It's really fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but anyways, 7.5 out of 10 for House of the Dragon for Season 1, Episode 7. So comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of House of the Dragon for Season 1, Episode 7 review if you enjoyed it. I did the best I could to explain what I watched as good as possible in my own way of explaining it. And if you enjoyed this episode 7 review for House of the Dragon Season 1, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. There's going to be three more episodes left of this season. I think they're going to have a season 2. And to be honest, I found this season to be, have its underwhelming moments and some alright moments. But the execution, and I don't want to spoil the very ending of the episode for you, but you'll find out what you when you watch it, of course. I had to watch it online, so I wasn't able to get HBO Max still because it's like 10 bucks a month. Plus tax and all that, so yeah, 11 or 12 bucks a month I'd be paying, but still. Um, yeah, there's three more episodes left. I will be reviewing the last three. It ends on October 23rd, and Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power ends on the 14th. So I'll be reviewing those episodes, and I'll have more videos coming out for... Uh, some album reviews, re-reviews, and the Tuesday album review, and some track reviews as well. So definitely be on the lookout for the next upcoming videos. Hope you enjoyed this episode 7 review for House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 7. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible and explain what I watched when I uh, did this review for you guys. So stay safe. Take care, guys, and as always, I will see you in my next review.